All right, this is True Patriot 09. Just wanted to do a video on my uh, bow. I've had a few upgrades to it since last time I put a video out. So I actually used to shoot the True Ball uh, finger release, the Bone Collector, which is great release. And everybody kept telling me about thumb releases. So I ended up getting the True Ball um, Max Hunter Plus. And it took me probably a half dozen or more shots to get used to this. But once I got used to it, um, man, this thing is awesome. It has tightened up my groups so, so much. Um, now, this one is different from most because you actually push forward on this. And it releases the dual caliper there. Uh, opposed to some that has the, uh, the thumb release on the side that you pull back. This one you actually push forward, which once I got used to it, I liked it. Um, plus it does have the little wrist strap. So uh, I got my bone collector stand here. Um, I'm shooting the ICS Hunters. I got the newer version of the ICS Hunter, which is really nice. Uh, and then I've got one full metal jacket just to see, uh, just to see how it would shoot. So I've got the Apex Covert uh, one pin that you can see here. Uh, it also has the uh, one thing that I love about this site is it has the adjustments, if it will focus, um, comes with yardage tapes. So you can see that goes from 20 to 100 yards. It does light up. It also has another pin that's a little bit smaller than this one that's in it. Uh, it's got all kinds of micro adjustments uh, here. This is the oversized adjustment knob for the um, uh, yardage. And then it has just a, a quick release little lever here uh, that you flip up adjust it, flip back down, it tightens it back down. So I uh, just had a new string put on it. It's the Elite Valor, um, I guess, uh, Blaze Speckle uh, is what the guy at the bow shop said. And uh, so I'm going to shoot it this evening. It's blazing hot outside right now, so I really don't feel like getting out, getting out and shooting. But uh, he also um, up upgraded this, put roll or um, had him put rollers on it for me, if that will focus, the ball bearing rollers. Uh, the old... Um, uh, cable stops or cable holders that were on it uh, were actually eating up my cables. Um, this is going to prevent some of that. Uh, of course, I got the QAD rest, and this is is uh, sixty three point two pounds, I believe, is what it is uh, right now on the draw of it. Uh, it's a twenty nineteen Elite Valor, and I absolutely love this bow. Um, of course, it's dual cam, um, string stop. Uh, I did add um, quarter ounce weight uh, to this. I'm trying to think of a few other things I've done. Um, besides the bow releases, new string, uh, some things like that. Uh, that's all I've, you know, some of the upgrades with the, uh, the new string and, and everything. But uh, this Elite Valor shoots great. I started out with, uh, I had a Martin a couple of years ago, didn't really get into it. Then ended up getting a Bowtech last year. And the Bowtech was great. Uh, the guy I bought it off of ended up telling me, hey, you're going to get, you know, <laughs> basically you're going to get addicted. And I did. So uh, I had the Bowtech for about two months, sold it to a friend of mine, and moved up to the Elite Valor. I got a heck of a deal on this bow, though, uh, so it was hard for me to pass it up. Um, the bow, like I said, it, it shoots great. Uh, it's super accurate, really fast, and lightweight. I think it's going to be great in a deer stand this year, uh, and it's fun just to shoot as well. But uh, one other thing, too, is I was shooting 100 grain three blade uh, muzzies, and uh, one of the practice muzzies that I was shooting was shooting off left a little bit, and I had the bow tuned to 100 grain fill points. Well, I ended up getting a uh, putting a broadhead on there, an actual muzzy broadhead, and shot, and it shot probably a foot and a half left and took a hard left nose dive into my 3D target. So I started doing some reviews and looking up some stuff on the muzzy um, three blade hunter grain, and there were tons of people who were very uh, unsatisfied with them. And I ended up speaking with the guy who uh, at the local bow shop, and he was telling me that Muzzy was bought out by a bigger company and that he doesn't even carry Muzzy anymore because there were so many complaints. So I went to the Schwacker number 207s. Uh, I ended up shooting this, which is a practice uh, broadhead, and it flies so true. And I whitetail hunt, so... 
Uh, mechanical broadheads, you hear a lot of good and bad about them. Um, so I'm going to try them out. I think these are inch and a half or inch and a quarter, two inch cut. I forgot what they were, but uh, I got a good deal on these as well. So I'm going to shoot, uh, start shooting these. And if I like them, then I'll move up to, um, there was another brand. I meant to take a picture of it. I looked at them yesterday and forgot what it is. But anyway, um, so this is my bow. Uh, this is my bow setup. And right now it's, I, I love it. Love shooting. It's fun to shoot. I've got a three uh three different targets that i can shoot at range finder all that stuff i'm shooting back at uh, about 60 yards right now and shooting great so uh, if i get out and shoot this evening um i'm going to do a video on that as well i have a 28 inch draw on this uh 63.2 pound um draw weight so my draw length is 28 but uh anyway that's a video. Uh, sorry I hadn't put videos up lately. I, I know I put a video up this morning uh, kind of talking a little bit about why I haven't put videos up. I had uh, a couple of videos taken down for some reason uh, or were flagged, and some of them were me just talking about a scope uh, was one of them. And there was, of course, I don't curse in my videos. There's nothing negative uh, about anything in my videos, and for some reason it was taken down. But uh, I'm going to start putting videos back up. Uh, this is my 2019 Elite Valor Love this bow. Hopefully I can get out this evening and shoot some, uh, do a quick video of some shooting uh, just to see uh, what the difference is with the new string uh, and see if I need to make any adjustments. So, uh, and, and, and also I want to throw out there too, uh, just kind of shout out to the Hodge Twins. If you've never seen their channel, go to their channel, Hodge Twins on YouTube. Uh, they've got a couple of different ones and they these guys are great. They are hilarious. They're great. Uh, just seem like really good family guys and they're just they're awesome so um, like I always say let's pray for this nation especially now uh, with all the unrest that we have um, uh, you know the the separation of of, of our uh, great nation uh, the coronavirus and everything let's just pray for uh, this nation let's pray for our first responders our military uh, their families and and most importantly let's just pray for the nation uh, so this is True Patriot 09. Thank you for watching.